What is diamond mining? Diamond mining is the process of extracting diamonds and other precious stones from the earth. Diamonds are formed deep within the earth's mantle under high pressure and temperature conditions. Over millions of years, volcanic activity or tectonic movements bring these diamonds closer to the earth's surface. The extraction of diamonds involves a series of steps, and the process can vary based on the geological characteristics of the diamond deposit. Key Stages of Diamond Mining Exploration Before any mining activities begin, geologists conduct extensive exploration to identify potential diamond deposits. This involves geological surveys, aerial photography, and, in some cases, core drilling to analyze rock samples. Mining Site Preparation Once a promising deposit is identified, the mining site is prepared. Vegetation is cleared, and topsoil is removed to expose the diamond-bearing rock or gravel. Mining Methods There are different methods of diamond mining, and the choice of method depends on the nature of the deposit. The two primary methods are Open pit mining, suitable for shallow deposits, this method involves the removal of overburden, waste rock and soil, to expose the diamond-bearing ore. Underground mining Used for deeper deposits, tunnels or shafts are constructed to access the diamond-rich kimberlite or alluvial deposits. Diamond Extraction After reaching the diamond-bearing rock, the extraction process begins. The methods employed depend on the type of deposit. In hard rock mining, explosives may be used to break up the rock, while in alluvial deposits, gravels may be processed to recover diamonds. Sorting and Processing the extracted material undergoes sorting to separate the diamonds from other minerals and rocks. This can involve heavy media separation, X-ray sorting, or other advanced techniques. Once sorted, the diamonds are sent to processing plants. Processing and grading At the processing plant, the diamonds are further treated to remove impurities. The stones are then graded based on their size, color, clarity, and cut. This grading determines the market value of each diamond. Marketing and Sales The graded diamonds are then sold through various channels, including diamond dealers, auctions, or directly to jewelry manufacturers. The diamond market is highly regulated, and the sale of diamonds is often subject to international agreements like the Kimberley Process to prevent the trade of conflict diamonds. Reclamation and Rehabilitation in environmentally responsible mining operations, efforts are made to reclaim and rehabilitate the mining site after extraction is complete. This includes regrading the land, planting vegetation, and implementing erosion control measures. Challenges and Considerations Diamond mining faces challenges related to environmental impact, ethical concerns, such as the trade of conflict diamonds, and sustainable practices. Responsible mining companies work to minimize their ecological footprint, adhere to ethical standards, and contribute positively to local communities. In summary, diamond mining involves a multi-step process, from exploration and extraction to sorting, processing, and marketing. Advances in technology and ethical considerations continue to shape the diamond mining industry. What is diamond formation and its properties? Diamond formation Diamonds are formed deep within the Earth's mantle under conditions of high pressure and high temperature. The basic process of diamond formation involves carbon atoms arranged in a crystal lattice structure. There are two main types of diamond formation. Magmatic or kimberlite formation. Most natural diamonds are formed through magmatic processes in kimberlite pipes. Kimberlite is a type of volcanic rock that originates from the Earth's mantle. The process begins with carbon-rich materials, such as organic matter or carbonates, being subjected to extreme heat and pressure within the mantle. Volcanic activity then brings these diamond-bearing rocks, called kimberlite pipes, closer to the Earth's surface. The rapid ascent of magma results in a drop in pressure, causing the carbon atoms to crystallize and form diamonds. Alluvial or placer formation in some cases, 
Diamonds can be eroded from their primary kimberlite sources by natural processes like weathering and erosion. The diamonds are then transported by rivers and streams and deposited in sedimentary environments, such as riverbeds or ocean floors. Alluvial diamond deposits are often found in riverbanks and coastal areas. These diamonds have been liberated from their original host rock and can be recovered through placer mining methods. Properties of Diamonds Hardness Diamonds are renowned for their exceptional hardness and are the hardest natural substance known. This property is attributed to the strong covalent bonds formed between carbon atoms in the diamond crystal lattice. As a result, diamonds are used in various industrial applications, including cutting, grinding, and drilling. Crystal Structure Diamonds have a crystal lattice structure in which each carbon atom is tetrahedrally bonded to four other carbon atoms. This arrangement forms a strong, three-dimensional network of bonds, giving diamonds their unique and characteristic crystal structure. Refractive Index Diamonds have a high refractive index, meaning they can bend and slow down light more than other gemstones. This property contributes to the exceptional brilliance and sparkle, known as fire, that diamonds exhibit. Dispersion Dispersion refers to the ability of a material to separate light into its spectral colors. Diamonds have a high dispersion, which enhances their ability to create flashes of color. This characteristic is another factor contributing to the visual appeal of diamonds. Color Diamonds come in a range of colors, and color is one of the factors used to grade and value diamonds. The Gemological Institute of America, GIA, grades diamonds on a scale from D, colorless, to Z, light yellow or brown. Some diamonds also exhibit natural colors, known as fancy colors, including blue, pink, and yellow. Clarity Clarity refers to the presence of internal or external imperfections, known as inclusions and blemishes, respectively. Diamonds with fewer or no visible imperfections are considered more valuable. The clarity scale ranges from flawless, no inclusions or blemishes visible under 10x magnification, to included, inclusions and or blemishes visible to the naked eye. Carat weight. Carat weight is a measure of a diamond size. One carat is equivalent to 0.2 grams larger diamonds are rarer and often more valuable, but other factors like color, clarity, and cut also influence a diamond's overall value. Thermal conductivity. Diamonds are exceptional thermal conductors. This property, along with their hardness, makes diamonds useful in various industrial applications, such as in cutting tools and thermal management systems. Understanding the formation and properties of diamonds is crucial for the diamond mining industry, gemologists, and consumers alike. These characteristics contribute to the unique beauty and desirability of diamonds for both industrial and ornamental purposes. Where are the important diamond deposits in the world? Important diamond deposits are found around the world, and these deposits are crucial sources for the global diamond industry. The distribution of diamond deposits is diverse, encompassing various geological settings. Here are some of the key regions known for significant diamond deposits. Southern Africa Botswana, the Arapa and Dwaining mines in Botswana are among the world's richest diamond mines. Botswana has become a major player in the diamond industry, and its diamond production has contributed significantly to the country's economic development. South Africa, the historic Kimberley mine in South Africa played a pivotal role in the early days of the diamond rush. Other notable mines include Venetia and Finch. Russia Yakutia, Sakha Republic Russia is a major producer of diamonds, and the vast Yakutia region is home to some of the world's largest diamond mines, including the Mir and Yudakni mines. The region is known for its harsh climate and challenging mining conditions. Canada Northwest Territories, Canada has become a significant player in the diamond industry with mines like Diavik and Akati in the Northwest Territories. The Canadian diamonds are known for their high quality and ethical sourcing. Australia Argyle, 
The Argyle mine in Western Australia was known for its production of pink diamonds, among other colored diamonds. However, the Argyle mine ceased operations in 2020, affecting the global supply of pink diamonds. Central Africa Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC The DRC is rich in natural resources, including diamonds. However, the diamond trade in the region has been associated with conflict, leading to efforts to establish ethical and conflict-free sourcing practices. Namibia Orangemund, Namibia is home to marine diamond deposits off its coastline. The Orangemund mine, operated by Namdeb Diamond Corporation, is one of the key contributors to Namibia's diamond production. Angola Katoka, Katoka is one of the largest diamond mines in the world and is situated in Angola. The country has significant diamond reserves, and efforts have been made to improve governance and transparency in the diamond industry. Lesotho Letseng, Letseng is a high-altitude diamond mine located in the mountains of Lesotho. It is known for producing large, high-quality diamonds and has gained a reputation for some of the world's most valuable diamond discoveries. India Panna the Panna diamond mine in India has historical significance, and diamonds have been mined in the region for centuries. While not as prolific on a global scale, India has contributed to the diamond industry. Brazil Minas Gerais, Brazil has historical diamond mines, particularly in the state of Minas Gerais. Though not as prominent as in the past, Brazil continues to be associated with diamond production. These regions represent just a fraction of the global diamond-producing areas. The diamond industry has evolved with advancements in technology, exploration techniques, and ethical considerations, and ongoing efforts are made to ensure responsible and sustainable diamond mining practices worldwide. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, like my videos, share them and comment under my videos.